Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm no fan of criticising the actions of parents who have lost a child, but when they're being used as a way to further the nanny state, exceptions must be made, so here we are. This one relates to reports going around following the murder of a transgender kid and the death of a girl who are being used as justification for the online arms bill that in no way will stop what happened to either of these kids from happening again. I mean, first and foremost, their deaths had sweet fuck all to do with the internet and more to do with things in their own lives, like knowing crazy murderous bitches and being interested in dark demented shit. This is not the internet's fault and is certainly not going to be stopped by an online arms bill that is there to stop the parasites that be getting exposed, not stop kids from seeing shit they shouldn't. And let's be honest here, the buck stops with parents. I am one, so I know this for a fact. If your kid's looking at shit online and you know nothing about it, then you failed that child. It's not the internet's fault you didn't take the time to see what your child is doing on the internet that you provided for them. That might sound harsh and all of that, and maybe it is, but still, it's a fucking fact of life. Blaming the internet's not gonna change. Shit, you can't even blame politicians for that one either, because it's not their job to raise your kids, is it? Of course, though, my problem's not with the parents in this situation, because they're being used as pawns by people with an agenda. That, I can promise you, has sweet fuck all to do with any kid who has died for any bloody reason. In fact, these parents have my sympathy having lost a child and now having their pain used as a way to push more surveillance on people, which of course is the real goal in all this. That is why with every article you see about the online censorship bill it's being connected with two cases that have nothing to do with what the bill is actually designed to be used for. No, low-life contemptible scumbags are using these parents and their kids as a way to pass yet more nanny state bullshit, while the same people actively push all kinds of degeneracy at kids and call it equality. It's no wonder the current generations are piss weak, wet fart compared to even 20 years ago and certainly before. I mean, shit, if the government really cared about keeping kids safe online, they'd just ban anyone under 18 from using it. This, while being completely unenforceable, is directly targeting the problem, as where the online arms bill is designed to stop information they don't want getting out from getting bloody viral. It won't and will never stop a single kid from coming to arm, you can be bloody sure. This, though, unfortunately, is just the beginning of all this because the parasites that be have not even started using these laws yet, but soon they will and start adding more to them any time they can, all while using people's pain as the tool to do it, the shameless fucking scumbags, and this is just another example of that. Pandemic. Where are